I am Gary Schmidt and this is my wife Anne and welcome to the Harry Page house. We're excited to show you our home. This is our living room and as you can see it has a great view of the uh, community park like setting and at one time there were actually four windows along there. The center one which is very large now, they end up taking that middle mullion out just to create one larger picture window for, uh, for this room and it's really nice. We love summer however in the winter we really do get the best views with the limestone cliffs especially when it's snowing out and um, at night sometimes you might come down here it's a full moon it's snowing and it's just pretty much magical it's a really nice scene we really just love this view another unique feature for this house are some planters that are on the exterior side of the house it's on each side of the windows on the living room level This is our fireplace, which uses a modern Roman brick. That brick is about 12 inches long and one and five eighths inch high. It also has very narrow mortar joints on that, so it has a nice unique look that I think might have been uh, typical of the Craftsman era in the Prairie School. This book was written by H. Allen Brooks and it's on the Prairie School. Uh, it's Frank Lloyd Wright and his Midwest contemporaries, but it has a lot of houses that are Prairie School designed in the Midwest. This is the first edition and as you can see, this is a picture of our house uh, from the uh, back, uh, back side looking up and you can see the circular window at the bottom. The living room has views from all three angles, that being the east, uh, south, and the north side, which I believe in the Rock Glen area, it's the only house that actually has those three types of views. And then there's a entryway through here or a hallway that goes to the front door. And then here's another unique feature. We have the uh, doors. They all are single panel with a, a raised trim on the outside. And I believe this is gumshoe, but I'm not actually sure on the wood. We're now in the dining room and as you can see there's some balanced lighting. Uh, it steps down about two foot from the ceiling. This is the same type of lighting that's also in the living room. The only change, those are original light fixtures, but the only change that we did was make them dimmable. Also in this room we did add the light fixture at the center of the room that's over the uh, dining room table. This bathroom was added in 1947 as part of the uh, renovation along with the kitchen and the garage. And one nice um, material that they use in this bathroom is this Vermont soapstone. And you can see it's a black uh, color and it has a textured finish to it.
We're now in the sunroom, which uh, some people call it the veranda. And I think when this was originally designed, it was an exterior space. And at some point they closed it in with windows. Another uh, nice feature to this room, it has six by six red clay tile um, for the flooring. And I think this is the same tile that was used for the historic park inn that was built in 1910. And that's the building that was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. This is a perspective rendering that was created by Marion Mahoney Griffith and Walter Burley Griffin. And this was for this area, for the Rock Crest, Rock Glen area. And on the corner of it, you can see there's several houses, but our house is located right here. Actually, when you look really close and in detail, there was actually a road that went down just uh, where the cul-de-sac is and it goes across. And then there's a bridge that goes over Willow Creek. They never put that in. That was part of the um, ideal that they had at the time, but it was never completed. One thing that's unique about the window hardware, uh, first off, it was designed by Walter Burley Griffith. He had a patent for it. It's called the window adjuster, and they only used it for five houses, and this happens to be one of them. Another unique feature for the house, and this was done in 1912, so a lot of the craftsmen influence, but uh, they have a very high base. It's, it's simple, but it's uh, unique from what you would see in you know, modern times, but it's about 12 inches high, uh, just used with simple materials uh, that are um, cut with wood and stained. One of the things we have tried to do is keep true to the Prairie School uh, design and to be good stewards for that. But uh, when we moved in, there was carpet in here, so we restored the old wood floor. It's a quarter sewn white oak. We're now in the kitchen area, and from what I understand, this is right along here, the original line of the building. And in about 1947, they did a renovation and expanded, where they expanded the kitchen and also added a uh, two-stall garage just to uh, the uh, west of us here. And we remodeled this about seven years ago. We also added these cabinets. They are designed to be mission or prairie scout or craftsman type. They were uh, oak on the upper level and then the, on the lower part they are a glazed uh, paint system. The countertops are soapstone from Vermont. One of the things we found when we were renovating was this piece of wood. It was up in the Valance area. And uh, as you know, it's the Harry Page house. And this says the LA Page Lumber Company. We know that Harry Page was, um, he had a lumber company. So we can only assume that some of his, maybe it's his father or grandfather was LA. What I just walked through were some doors that go to the upper level. Um, we rarely use them, but I think they were used just to keep the heat downstairs in the summer when this place was not air conditioned. The entire house has casement windows. The lower level, they're just plain uh, glass down there. And then on the upper level, we actually have art glass, as you can see just to my left here. Those windows, they look very similar to the Heard Comston house in Evanston, Illinois, but they are still unique from that. And of the five houses that were designed by Walter Burley Griffith, every house has a different window pattern. Just like our upper windows that have the art glass, this is a door that goes out to a small patio and it has the same art glass design in the window. We're upstairs again and we have the art glass windows and uh, through them we have some great views. In fact, as you look beyond, you can see the castle. That was the Melson house that also was designed by Walter Burley Griffin.
As part of the renovation, we end up removing some mirrors that were on this particular wall. And when we uh, took the mirrors off, we found this, uh, this painting. And what we learned was it was a previous owner. It is Dorothy and Raymond Weston. And Raymond was a uh, physician and Dorothy liked to sing, as you can see. We're now in the basement and we have a nice view with the arch windows that look out um, to the limestone cliffs. And that's a unique feature for this uh, uh, building, this house. We also have the nice artwork uh, grills for over the radiators for our boiler system. Hope you enjoyed our home and thanks for coming. <laughs>